Okay, so as of this morning, or this afternoon, I finally weighed in below 200 pounds. I weigh 199.7. This is huge. It's the first time I've been 199 anything, or 190 anything, since 2014, 2015, or something like that. And uh, I mean, I just, for the longest time these past few years, it just felt like I was never going to succeed, uh, even getting this far. But it's pretty clear now that this is... I'm on a, I'm on a good track here that this, this, this plan I'm on is actually going to work. And it's largely thanks to my Apple watch, which I'm not wearing at the moment. It was just charging it a second ago and the lose it app. Those two tools together have proved to be tremendously powerful. And, um, I highly recommend if you, if you don't have, uh, a fitness tracker like this, uh, there's a bunch of different, uh, things like this you can get now. I, I do, I'm an Apple guy, so this this was the best choice for me. I freaking love this thing. It really has been a game changer. I was using Chronometer last year uh, when I was uh, when I was tracking my meals for a while, for a while last summer, and I lost about 15 pounds. Um, but I really wasn't doing. I was I wasn't very good about it. You know, I would skip days. I wouldn't log everything. You know, I wouldn't log all my meals or all my snacks and all that stuff. And the habit was just not ingrained in me. So of course, eventually I just stopped doing it. It just kind of fell off. And then of course, gradually all the weight came back again. And then some, as you often hear, that's exactly what happened. And, uh, but once I, this year, when I started doing it again, and you can see in the early videos, I what was uh, promising to myself that I was gonna keep doing this every day. And uh, very quickly, it starts to become a habit that you can count on and it just feels like second nature and I don't let myself off the hook. Um, and I'm not, I'm, I'm going to say that, that I've, I've, I am, I try to be thorough, but within reason. So that means I don't log every single freaking thing that passes my lips. Um, for, for example, uh, because sometimes you just don't have time to figure out every little, you know, uh, every little detail, every little single ingredient that's in something you're eating, especially when you're eating out. Um, like if you're eating a salad and there's all kinds of different veggies and, and lettuce and things in there, vegetables are virtually, they're almost like just basically air and water. Um, anyway, so I don't, I don't, I generally don't bother logging, uh, vegetables thoroughly. I will occasionally, but, um, but the thing is I, every time I, I, I sit down to eat, every time I eat anything, I, I I make sure that I try to get as close to the ballpark of the total calories as I can. Sometimes it's easy. You can just scan a barcode if you're eating a snack or any other kind of store-bought food. Um, and, but sometimes you, when you're eating out or you're eating at a friend's house, you really have to get good at guesstimating. And you really, you just got to do the best you can do. And it becomes easier over time. You can kind of eyeball something and, and just kind of guess you know, oh, that looks like about a cup of rice, maybe a cup and a half. Mm, there's probably maybe half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of oil in this and the, the serving that I ate, that sort of thing. And definitely don't, I mean, don't forget the oil. The oil is important when you're logging recipes. And that's just an example, but um, it's really the, the promise I've made to myself that I'm not going to, I'm not going to fail to log a meal. So you, sometimes you won't have time. And one thing you can do, you know, even if I don't do it right away, I may, I'll log it later in the day or maybe the next morning. Um, one thing that's helpful is to take a picture of your food really quickly. Uh, so you can look at it later and try to guess. Like if you're eating out and you got the plate in front of you and you're like, I have no idea what's in this. <laughs> take a picture of it and then figure it out later. But do figure it out later. Don't, don't, don't slack it off, you know do it and because I promise you it will make a difference if you keep yourself accountable you keep holding yourself accountable to keep track of those meals uh, it, it's it makes a difference in uh, this in forming better habits and for me it's made all the difference in the world and I don't rebel against it I, I used to think oh god this is track I don't have to do that I don't have to do this all the time but yes I do I really do uh, I've Again, like I said in my very first video, I've never had to lose this much weight in my life. You know, over 28 pounds now I've lost. It's never happened before. And I'm, you know, I'm, I've still got 23 to go, maybe even more than that. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna land uh, 
on this current plan that I'm on, you know, you know, I may not, you know, it's true. I may not get all the way there. I may have to make uh, a few more adjustments to get to, to in the home stretch, you know, and I'm, when I get down to 190, 189 or something like that, it, it might start getting tougher. You know, I might have to, to start, uh, being, you know, s sticking to the program a little bit more, uh, not going over budget so much, which I'm still doing a lot. It just takes a little bit of accountability and, and discipline and, uh, you know, I, I think the best way, if, if you're new to calorie counting, if you're new to using an app like Lose It, um, it can seem like a pain in the ass at first, but if you think of it as like a tool to, to, to form new habits, that's really what it is. And, uh, that app, you know, Lose It and, or My Fitness Pal or whatever it is that you're using to do this, um, it's your friend, <laughs> you know, try, try to stick with the program and uh, do your best to stick with it. And it will make a difference in the long run. Anyway, I'm, I'm rambling way too much now because I'm in a good mood and I'm also a little bit sleepy because I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night. We, uh, the band played in, uh, Longview, Texas and Little Rock, Arkansas. And then after the Little Rock show, we drove all the way back home to Houston. So I didn't get a whole lot of sleep, but this was, this was a nice, a nice surprise to wake up to. So it's good. It's a good day. Anyway, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year and all that stuff. Uh, I'm going to see you again soon. There's lots more to talk about. Thanks very much. Cheers.